Let's move on to the next question. So yeah, here it's about soalan ni kan macam um, agak lah PSPM sedikit lebih kurang. Tapi it's not that hard. Kenapa saya kata dia lebih kurang macam PSPM? Sebab dia ada perkataan ni show that. Okay, let's look about uh, soalan ni. Baca dulu. So the sum of the so the sum to infinity of a geometric sequence. So geometric sequence highlight dan tulis lah GP dot dot such that that 7 the sum of to infinity is 7 also the sum to infinity is 7 this is how you write it so this is the formula that i'm doing right now so this part is where you must remember hafal juga formula the sum to infinity dengan syarat r dia mestilah dalam lingkungan negatif 1 dan 1 dalam lingkungan eh, in between so now let's go on baca soalan dia the sum of the first two term is 48 over 7 so keluarkan information the sum of the first two term adalah 48 over 7 and then show that the common ratio r satisfies the equation blah 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 okay kita got to show this thing we got to find this melalui dua info yang diberi pada kita so now what we got to use is uh, keluarkan formula untuk uh, sum to infinity which is a over r is equals to 7 is equals to 7 yeah so this will be our first equation alright oh saya rasa saya kena kecilkan sikit lah yang ni sebab nanti saya tak cukup ruang so I I put it smaller a bit here right and then ni pun kena kecilkan Allah ya yeah, Allah sorry guys so now this is actually the first equation I need the second equation which is from this part the second uh, the sum of the first two terms adalah 48 over 7 you gotta you must be confused miss nak guna sum formula yang mana guna sum formula yang mana R nya kecil ke besar so so actually tips ni kat sini adalah tips tips eh tips is look at the sum of the infinity sum to infinity sum to infinity dia punya pembawah ni dia punya pembawah ni adalah 1 over R tau so actually you should take formula yang ada a over 1 over r. Ha, dekat sini saya macam bagi tips dah tau. Tips PSPM. Tips PSPM ada A over R. So you should just use yang mana yang ada. So the second term dekat sini. Sorry the sum of the, of the first two term dekat sini. You just use this one. Yang ada 1 minus r ni. So A. So A over. Sorry A times 1 minus r to the power of n divided by 1 minus r which is equals to 48 over 7. So this is actually your second equation. So I'm gonna make this a bit smaller. Nak letak dia kat sebelah. Ui kecilnya. Ha, saya nak letak dia kat sebelah sebab sebab Saya nak buat dia serentak supaya cukuplah ruang untuk kamu nampak. Okay. So, you you know I highlight this thing lah ya. I highlight this thing so that I can straight away sub in. I can sub in 1 into 2. Ha, cepat tak cepat? Tak payah nak pening-pening. So, this is like a trick, you know, math trick. So, you masukkan sub into sub this equation 1 into equation 2 dia, dia akan literally jadi 7 dia literally akan jadi 7 times 1 minus r to the power of n di equal it to 48 over 7 wow magic see how easy it is you just sub it in sort of like this 7 kan you masukkan dalam ni uh, jadilah 7 dekat situ and then you just cross multiply you will get 49 times 1 minus rn is equals to 48 
Kalau kamu perasan Miss buat macam ni sebab Miss nak proof whether I got this thing or not. And so, I gotta use 49 masuk dalam lah dulu kejap. Okay. Ah, and then, barulah saya simplify it. Oh, 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 I will get 1. 49 minus 48 is 1. 1 minus 49 are 2.0. And it's 0. And there you go. I have shown it to the judges. To the pemeriksa that I managed to show it. So, this is kind of PSPM punya soalan. Okay. I just want to teach you guys how you, you choose your formula smartly you know you have to be smart to make less calculation uh, itu pun smart thinking tau bukan you nak kena buat susah payah je setiap masa tidak you have to be smart and less work a bit uh, macam tu lah so now continue you gotta find your a and positive r dia minta r yang positif so so now you sambung lah dekat sini kan dah ada 49 so 49 r n is equals to 1 therefore r n is equals to r n ke sekejap sekejap kenapa saya letak r n astaghfirullah azim maafkan saya anak-anak saya tak show lagi ni <laughs> Okay, dekat sini Saya lupa nak masukkan ni ha. Astaghfirullah Saya lupa rupanya nak masukkan Okay, saya lupa sebenarnya This is 2 man This is supposedly to be 2 And this is supposedly to be 2 This is supposedly to be 2 Padan lah tak dapat Ya ya je compare tadi ya So now I try to delete it Please bear with me ya guys. So here should be 2, 2, 2, 2 and 2. So here should be 2. Here should be 2, 2 and 2 and 2. And therefore barulah shown. Barulah sebiji sama ni ha. The squat ni ha. Padalah pelik. Padalah tak kerti nak jawab. So now barulah kita kita boleh buat. Carilah R squat. 49 R squared is equals to 1. Therefore, R squared is equals to 1 over 49. Therefore, my R is positive or negative 1 over 7. The thing is, soalan minta positive 7. Since, since R, R is 1 over 7. Soalan yang diminta adalah 1 over 7. Jawapan. Jawapan. Soalan yang diminta adalah positif R kan? That's why I take positif R only. And so, A is equals to... A saya guna equation yang pertama lah. Equation yang pertama say 7 times 1 minus R. 1 minus R is actually 1 over 7 kan? R kita dah jumpa tadi. And so, 6 over 7 times 7 is 6. Therefore, my A is equals to... 6 and my R is equals to 1 over 7. That's it. Saya dah proof. Saya dah shown. Dan saya dah cari first, first class pula. First uh, terms and saya dah cari positive R. Yay! Found it. Ooh, okay. Last one from me guys. Uh, ni adalah example yang terakhir dari saya. Uh, yang ini adalah lebih kepada mengaplikasikan uh, the, the the sum to infinity ya. So example yang kelima ni memang khas untuk nak mem, mengaplikasikan sum to infinity sahaja. Okey. Bila apa tahu? Bila apa? Bila soalan yang macam mana? Bila soalannya ada bar dekat atas ni. Ha uh, highlightkan this bar. This bar means it is repetitive, repetitive. Repetition means it's a uh, nombor yang berterusan. Nombor yang berterusan adalah macam 666 dot dot dot. Ah. 6666 tu panjang. It's a repetition 6666. So how do we find how do we make this without using calculator tau? So this is what we call as solving without calculator. So without calculator means Ya, yeah, you tak you kena cari range, you kena cari uh, pecahan dia tanpa menggunakan calculator. 
So how do you do that? It's actually very easy. Nombor satu yang tak ada bar tu kan, you kekalkan and then you put tambah. So this I need some spaces here. So tambahkan dengan you got to use you got to put a big bracket there. And then dekat dalam ni you perlu tulis 0.6 tambah 0.06 tambah 0.006 ataupun you nak letak dot dot dot. Uh, actually it's up to you Tapi kalau saya, saya letak lah Tambah 0.0006 And then saya letak plus dot 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 And then letak lah tutup bracket Alright So actually I just want you to find Like a series you know This is what we call as a series This is a series A series that can be used A formula of sum to infinity A over 1 minus r. You can apply this uh, because this is to infinity and beyond and so you can apply this sum to infinity punya formula. Okay, tapi jangan sesuka pakai lah. Jangan sesuka hati pakai. Bila dia kata dalam soalan barulah pakai. Tapi untuk soalan ni dia tak kata pun nak suruh pakai. Right? It is just about this particular kind of question yang dia suruh cari quotient yang dia suruh cari A over B ni tanpa menggunakan kereta you got to remember lah ha, ini tip saya bagi guna sum to infinity list down your A okay? Your A is 0.6 guys. This is your first term. Dalam kurungan ni yang first term kamu. Manakala ratio kamu adalah 0.06 divided by 0.6. Gonna give you 0.1. Okay. 0.1. And then. Dekat sini lah sambung selesaikan, selesaikan formula. Mem memakai formula. Iaitu A kamu 0.6. Okay, and then divided by, divided with 1 minus R. R kamu adalah 0.1. Tutup bracket. And then you, you kat sini you boleh lah tekan kelita and you will find that, you will find a, a, a pecahan, a, a pecahan yang berbentuk per itu. You akan dapat this is actually 2 over 3. Now, I want you to find pecahan. Cari, cari ini. Cari ini dulu. Ha, lepas tu barulah tambahkan dia. You akan dapat 5 per 3. That's how you solve it. Okay. It's quite easy actually. Not that hard. Okay. And then. Okay. Saya ajar lagi satu example ya. Yang terakhir dari saya. Untuk tanpa menggunakan calculator. You got to use this formula. Remember that. And then. Tapi dengan syarat, you kena pandai keluarkan dulu. Keluarkan money yang penting. Money yang tak ada bar tu, keluarkan dulu. 5.4 keluarkan. Dia tak ada dalam bar. Bar tu adalah tempat dia repeat. Okay. 5.9 ni tempat mana dia repeat. 5.9, 5.9, 5.9 and dot dot dot. So, dekat sini lah baru you letak tambah in bracket. Okay. In bracket. What is it? Inside of it. Instead of it here is 0 0.59 is your first term. Eh, hati-hati. Careful, this is 0, 0.0 guys. Ah, 0, 0.0. 0.0. Sebab ada empat tu kan. 0 0.059 is your first term. Hati-hati, this is like 0 0.059. Ah, that is your first one. And then plus 0 0.0059. Plus what? 0 0.00059 Plus dot 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 You don't want to continue and 0 0 0 You don't want it right? It's difficult It's too long And so Keluarkan A What is your A? A is 0 0.059 What is your R? Your R is 0 0.0059 Divided by 0 0.059 Yeah, it's 0 0.01 Okay, so 0 0.01 Dah cari Dah cari R lah kiranya ha, Bolehlah kita dengan happy Apply formula Formula apa? Formula A 0 0.059 Divided by 1 minus 0 0.01 Okay, and then you use your calculator 
you will get that at the back here it's a fraction of 59 divided by 990 uh, 59 divided by 990 make sure you got a fraction tau uh, bila dapat fraction barulah you tambah you akan dapat 1080 divided by 198 that is your ratio that is your a over b kind of answer all right that is how you use this formula the sum to infinity so remember untuk gp summation sum dia ada dua formula sum of the gp ada dua jenis according to r r less than one or r more than one and then this is sum to the infinity dengan syarat r kamu di antara negative one and one you see here R kamu very small. It's according to this syarat, right? 0.01 juga dalam lingkungan ini. So, that is how, that is the, the 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 reason, this is the main reason kita boleh apply the sum to infinity punya formula di sini. Bila melibatkan recurring punya numbers. Okay, that's all for 3.1.